Good day. Today, I'm in Pocklington. I love a little town, pretty much in between Driffield and York. I apologise, it's a bit windy today. My new mic hasn't come yet, so I will speak as clearly as I possibly can and do my best. Um, yeah, it's it's a cloudy day. I was worried about what the weather's going to be like today, but it's it's dried up. It is warm and it is breezy. I might have to go and take my coat back to the car because it is quite warm, but yeah, let's explore Pocklington. So if we come to Pocklington, this car park is actually free. Uh, just follow the signs for long stay car park and you'll find this one, which is free. I can't remember what it's called. It's called, it has a name. All car parks have a name. This one definitely does. I think you can stay here as long as you like. I will double check the rules though. You can charge your electric car here as well. So yeah, if you look for the West Green Car Park, Pocklington, it's free. Cars and light vehicles. Um, it's opposite the sports hall down there. And there's Pocklington. So last time I came here, I do remember going for a drink at a pretty cool little place. I think it was a York Brewery Spa. Um, I'll try and find that again today. Furnish and Fettel. As we seem to do on this channel, I find a church. Um, let's go have a walk around. This is Old Saints Church in Pocklington. These gravestones are so old that you can't even see the writing on them anymore. So goodness knows how well they are. The church is open to have a look around. Nice big clock tower. Probably not allowed to come in here with a dog. I'm not even going to try, to be honest. Um, it would be a tad disrespectful. I don't know where this goes. Let's just go around to the church, it looks like it. <laughs> well, we're just walking down some blind alley here. I don't know where this goes, mate. That's a 15 minute thing, it's now quarter to one. Looping has wrapped himself around this tree. Come on, Lupin. I think I find odd when I come to a church like this and there's gravestones, they all just sort of seem to be sort of randomly dotted about. So, like you go to like a graveyard and they're all like in a Almost like a grid kind of thing. These seem to be, well, seem to just be randomly allocated. Maybe they were in a grid, but they're so old that some have fallen down. I don't know. I don't know. Quite a tomb, isn't it? Does it say whose tomb this is? No. It's an old one. Come on, Lupin. I do dip down with the camera, it's because I'm trying to coerce Lupin into walking in the same direction as me, which always helps when I'm trying to do this, these videos. 
Yeah, that's All Saints Church. If you're in the area, come and have a look around inside. Let me know what it's like. I do like walking around the church. I'm not a particularly sort of religious person, but I do like looking at the inside of these churches. They're always quite spectacular. Cafe in Delhi. I do fancy a coffee, to be honest. So that's tempting. There's Brew York. I knew it was Brew York, yeah. Brew York do some fabulous beers. We had some food in there last time as well and it was absolutely wonderful. So yeah, I may venture into there a little bit later. Ah, quite all sorts. Up, no hours, anyone? Waterloo Lane. Hmm. Round to Pocklington. A cute little green grocer. That definitely looks like an old pub that's now a solicitor's. One funny thing I've noticed is when people notice that I'm doing this and they make eye contact with me, they're always like, they walk past me sort of doing this face. I don't know what it is, it's like a... <laughs> I don't know if it's just like a nervous sort of acceptance of they're now in the video or, or it's a, oh look, it's one of them guys doing a video oh, with this silly gamble. I don't know what it is, it's just, it's quite funny. I'm sure there's no sort of malice in it. Surely. Appreciating the fact that their lovely town of Pocklington is going to be in the interwebs. So Pocklington does have quite a small town centre. Pocklington picture frame. Get your pictures framed at Pocklington picture framing. Bring them here. Get them framed. Stop buying, you know, cheap frames off Amazon. Bring it here, get it done here, expertly, professionally, done with a touch of customer service, which you don't get from Amazon. I mean, you get an email from them. Thank you for your order, that's it. I mean, I've brought my microphone from there, but you know, where am I going to buy a microphone from in Driffield? Exactly. See? Needs most sometimes. This is just a residential street, I think. It's a flat in Pocklington. That looks like an old converted church or something. New pain. So I'm undecided whether to go for a coffee at that deli place or go for a nice sassy half at Brew Yard. I mean, I can do both, but... Hockington has a bus station. It's brought me back to the town centre, is it? I get lost so easily, I have a little sense of direction. It's like a delicatessen and wine merchants. Mm -hmm. Some big bags of coffee in there. 
porridge yet. Love an old fashioned deli shop. I was looking for some beer actually, so. I dip into there and take some home. Greenhouse Cafe. It's an internet cafe? Are they still a thing? Wow. Lupin really wants to go into Pocklington Pet Star. Oh, we'll go on the way back, Lupin. Come on. He'll definitely just want treats in there. He's trying to get him to lose a bit of weight because, yeah, people love giving him treats and he is insatiable. His appetite is never fulfilled, as it is with all dogs, but God, Lupin, eat, eat, eat. I want to steal a bacon sandwich or two with Lupin. He wanted to go in the pub, Lupin. He's a to go in the pub. He's a good. Yeah, we've come full circle around to Pocklington. So I think we should go and grab a coffee. I've gone for a cappuccino and a chocolate millionaire shortbread. And that looks spot on, to be honest. Turn left. Turn left. Mmm. Perfect. So let's continue to explore Pocklington. It's a busy day in Pocklington, I forget it, it's half term, so there's a few families about. That place I just went, it had like a waiting list, it was mega busy. So I did pretty well to um, get in and get served in there. South side, because there weren't any it's left inside where I could go with Lupin but I was quite happy south outside to be honest because it's a pleasant day it is warm it is dry and why not sit outside with a coffee and a shortbread I'm not entirely sure what the, what the purpose of this is but it's very pretty isn't it Floral arrangement adorning a balcony. That's what you may say that is. of Hall, Burnby Hall and Gardens down here. Oh. Petro vehicles. Very old fire engine, I think. Yeah, Burnby Hall gardens and museum you can visit i'm not going to nine pound fifteen for an eight pound thirty for an adult i'm personally going to pass but sure it looks very beautiful from here anyway so if you like your old halls and your old gardens go have a look <clears throat> uh, this is not my car with the picnic basket to this. I don't know what the um I don't know why these are here but Stanley Stanley Hudson that is 
beautiful, isn't it? And this magnificent beast as well. Also a Stanley vehicle. Beautiful, isn't it? Not sure. Just three retro vehicles just randomly packed next to each other in a car park. Don't know. I'll try and find out, but at this moment in time, not sure. Let's have a little wander on this little tree lined road. Again, I have no idea where this goes. Probably to somebody's house. Probably that lady's house. She's just walking home to into a house and I'm just following her with a gimbal on a private driveway. <laughs> but I guess we'll soon find out if that's the case. I don't think it goes to the Hall and Gardens. Okay. Yeah, I'm... Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm literally following that woman home. So, you know... I'm sorry, it was a really attractive road hmm fancy an indian who doesn't love an indian i might go in there now and you can watch me eat a curry <laughs> could you imagine the gentleman turkish baba again why is it with turkish babas <laughs> oh, excuse me. I mean, I go to a Turkish barber and it does a good job, but it's no real that different to a normal barber, so I don't really understand it, to be honest. If you like your vintage furniture and all things vintage, come to Fir Tree House Vintage Furniture and Decor. Fir Tree House Vintage Decor. We used to have a. Okay. last two minutes in our house. Ah, so it's one of those places where you bring your own container, fill it, weigh it, and pay. Zero packaging. I like it. Very environmentally friendly way of shopping. Lupin, come here. It's after somebody's lunch that someone's just left on the side randomly. I'm not having that because it's chocolate and it's strawberry milkshake, so no. Bring, weigh, fill, pay. New business of the year, winners of the winners. No dogs, no lupins. Great concept though, really like it. So yeah, come on down. Get pretty much anything. Is coming, get your base tan ready. <laughs> no, I don't think a man of my hair colour and complexion should be um, considering getting a tan because I would look ridiculous orange from head to toe. I'm good, thank you. I will um, adorn myself with factor 50 emulsion and then burn anyway. <laughs> That's how you do a shop front. Look at that. that is striking. Let's go have a gander. Not the best one. Let's go have a look at our quite old sorts. I hope beautiful things happen to you this week, and when they do, I hope you can believe that you deserve each one of them. Well, that's charming, isn't it? Pretty much. Ah, there you go. Arkwright's famous coat. Right at the top is Arkwright himself. 
Grenville. Wow. Let's just to wonder for a little homage, isn't it? Very sweet. Love it. Music, comedy, theatre. Yeah, Bocklington has got its own little entertainment venue. I did not know that. Amy Winehouse, a film coming soon to cinemas. Didn't know I shot a film. There you go, you can see it here. Bocklington Art Centre. Well, that's brilliant because that is an entertainment venue that's very near home and I did not know that existed. So there you go. That's what Driffield needs. Driffield needs something like that desperately. And of course, it's Friday. We're going to go to the market tap for a beer. That was a delightful pint in that York Tap place. Really good. Market Tap. It's a pub. Lovely, jubbly, lovely craft beer in there. Got good cast scales on in there. If you're more of a lager man or woman, they do lager and pilsner in there. Go have a look. I'm sure you'll find something that you like. You can always try. If you've never had a craft beer before, or it's like a cask beer that you maybe want to try out. Just ask for a taster. Ask to taste some and I'll happily oblige. Lovely place. Lots of free pack in Hocklington, which is awesome. I think this used to be an old train station here. I think, I don't know for sure. I would imagine this would be the part for it. Don't quote me on that. Again, it's something that I will find out. There is the bus station. This fine fleet of buses. That's now a bus station. Shit, that used to be a train station. There's a gliding club near here. I just wanted to try gliding. It looks pretty fun. It looks absolutely terrifying flying through the air without any sort of form of engine or, you know, propulsion other than the air currents around you. But yeah, it is something that I want to do. That'll be a fun video. Graham and Lupin go gliding. GM and Lupin in the skies above Yorkshire. What do you think of that, Lupin? Should we go gliding? So yeah, that's pretty much Pocklington. Glorious little market town. Markets open on Tuesdays. Lots of quirky little shops. Love the homage to open all hours. That was awesome. Really like that. Um, lots of cute little cafes, lots of pubs. In general, a lovely place to visit is Pocklington. Mmm. Hocklington, really like it. It's quite busy for a Friday afternoon. Come on, there, Lupin. Lupin's just settling down in the back because he's a good boy. Come to Hocklington, get some pretty good food here. Love my pint at the um, Market Tap. Really, that that shortbread though. Damn, best shortbread ever. I mean, you could see how glorious it was. The fact that I had trouble breaking it up with my fork, that's a sign of a good shortbread. It wasn't one of those cheap ones that would just fall apart at the sight of the fork, you just crumble. I was like, hmm, pathetic. This one though, best ever, homemade, glorious, lovely, jubbly. Yeah, really enjoyed Pocklington. Where am I going next? I'm, I'm still waiting to go to Skipsy. I will go, I feel like, it's going to be hugely anticipated now, and it's going to be a massive disappointment when I eventually go to Skipsy. Because it was really, really windy this morning, so I didn't want to go to somewhere on the seaside because until I've got my new microphone and a little fluffy microphone cover thing, that's what it does. Um, 
and my microphone for my phone isn't too protected from the wind so I was worried that the audio quality wouldn't be very good. Hopefully today it's been fine and hopefully now I'm in the car it's going to be absolutely fine but yeah I'll head to Skipsey. Um, how boring was Warren Percy though? Like what was that? Like put interesting things there you know. So yeah hopefully skip scene next on a nice day because the weather's just like it just keeps raining and it's windy at the moment which usually i wouldn't mind but i'd like to go to skip on a nice sunny day because it's by the seaside you know it would be good wouldn't it so yeah thank you further please like and subscribe to these videos um because it helps me out massively helps get my reach out you know helps more people see the videos share them share them with friends share them with family share them with your dog because you know they might want to see lupin very photogenic is lupin people always say he's got a very photogenic face he's got um very poetic eyes as lupin that draws you in give me a treat immediately he's nicer than that um He's a good boy. So yeah, thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the little tour of Pocklington, glorious little market town. I will try and come back to Pocklington on a market day and see what delights the artisan crafters and bakers and makers of the Pocklington area bring to the market. That would be lovely. Um, Driftfield Market's good, but it's sort of limited in what it has. I think um, Parkinson's maybe bigger than the Driftfield one. Um, so we'll see what happens in that respect. So Parkinson Market is definitely a future place to go. Um, speaking of the seaside, I'm looking to go to Filey at some point. That would be nice. Very um, popular little seaside place. Bridlington as well. Uh, if you've got any ideas of places for me to go, please drop me a comment. Drop me a comment and I will happily go visit there for you and do a little talk with Lupin. Cool. Thank you very much. Give it a like and subscribe. Give me a little comment. What did you like about the video? What didn't you like about the video? What did you absolutely hate? It's rubbish. Yeah, don't say that. Say, that was the best video I've seen today. Really good. Best tour of Pocklington I've seen this morning. Leave a comment like that and I'll appreciate it. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.